Today we need to edit a documentary. So I got sent a bunch of documentary footage. That's pretty normal. Most documentaries mix material from different cameras, resolutions and eras. Your job as an editor is to make all of it feel cohesive and seamless for the audience. And I'm going to show you how to do that with M Upscaler AI. I've already loaded my documentary segment into the timeline. My project is in 4K and so are my main interviews. I've got one camera here and another one over here. But because this documentary is about old Hollywood, I also have a lot of archive and stock footage throughout the film. First stop is an old TV show from 1961. As you can see, the footage is tiny. It's only 640 by 480. The next clip is the same resolution. Clearly, this isn't filling the frame and at the very least, we want it to sit nicely as a 4x3 image inside of our 4K project. Then we have some Hollywood stock drone shots. Unfortunately, these are only in 1080. We want them to fully fill the frame. It's not perfect footage, but our job is to make it look as good as possible. So I go into M Extension. Under M Software, I open M Upscaler AI. A new window pops up and I drag in the shots I need to upscale for this documentary. My initial settings are 4K with reduced artifacts. Let's take a look. Right away I can see more detail in this drone shot. The blocky palm trees are gone and the Los Angeles background looks much cleaner and less blurry. But now let's get into the most interesting part, the tiny archive footage. You can already see how much better this looks. It's less blurry, the edges around the person are sharper, and the writing in the background is no longer blocky. This archive footage was especially challenging because of its age, but MF Scalier AI did an awesome job. Just look at the edges of the TV here. That said, it's important to experiment with your settings. So let's see what 8K would look like. Hmm, I'm not sure. The image starts to feel a bit too pastel for my taste. Let's try turning off reduced artifacts. The detail becomes almost watery when you look closely. So for this footage, I'm sticking with 4K. You have to remember that you can't push certain material too far. Sometimes footage is simply too old to be fully fixed, but you can make it look so much better. Another important tip, you don't need to export entire clips. You can select only the segments you need, which really speeds up the processing time. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I hit Command plus A and I apply the same settings across all these different shots. I double check the safe location and codec and then I press start. I've already placed the upscaled shots on top of my originals in the timeline. Now they fill the frame beautifully in 4K and look significantly better. If we compare this to simply scaling up the original footage, the difference is obvious. Again, it's very old material, but this is the best possible result for the documentary. With the 1080 shots, it's even easier to match everything and they blend in really nicely. But that's not all. Since we're working on a documentary, I can jump back into M Extension and open M Documentary to play with some assets that instantly elevate the look. For example, this Hollywood drone sign shot isn't amazing. So I can add a subtle blur effect to stylize it. I just drag it on top of my footage and we instantly see this aesthetic, out of focus, softness to the shot. I can also grade it a bit with the extra information I have from the 4K upscale. I can use timeline assets like this one to introduce archive dates. I put it into the right spot. Now let's change the first date to let's say March 1961 and the other one is going to be July 1961. Now we see this cool time transition which helps your narrative. And if I want to give my shot a date and location, I can use this awesome asset that makes it look like a professional TV documentary. I'm just gonna change it to June 2025. And the location is Los Angeles, California. This looks super slick. It's all incredibly simple. With M Upscaler AI and M Extension assets, you can create a professional looking documentary, the kind you'd expect to see on Netflix or Amazon without a massive budget or a fancy post production setup. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Follow us for more, and I'll see you next time.